Hello and welcome to Hallmark Channel On Location. I'm Stacy Galandi. Now as you can see, we've gone back in time to the Old West. And you've got to admit, this set is pretty realistic. But that means one thing. The next chapter in the Hallmark Channel original love series, Love Takes Wing. Now you've been waiting patiently for the continuing saga. But as we take you behind the scenes with the all-star cast, the drama, and of course the romance, you'll soon see that Love Takes Wing was well worth the wait. I love you. Belinda Simpson. The seventh installment in the popular Hallmark Channel original love series, Love Takes Wing, picks up right where we left off. You're going to be fine. And so am I. And for devoted fans of the movies and the classic books by author Jeanette Oak, your wait is over thanks to actor Lou Diamond Phillips. He's pulling double duty as the resident bad guy and director. And Ashley Gracie. This is a, a film uh, in, in a series of films. Uh, the, uh, that, that started with Love Comes Softly, and uh, I don't know what Love did in between, but now Love Takes Wing. I'm the new doctor in Sykeston. In Love Takes Wing, Belinda Simpson is now Dr. Simpson. She has lost her faith since the death of her beloved Drew, and now, with the help of her best friend, Dr. Annie Nelson, she must find a cure for a life-threatening illness affecting a town's orphanage. These people are dying, and I can't figure it out, and I don't understand why. You're not failing. All the while trying to resist falling in love with the town's blacksmith. I'm sorry. Lou says this latest in the series packs a lot of emotion. I haven't done one uh, in a while with this much real emotion behind it. And uh, my cast is just delivering uh, in spades. And I certainly can't take any credit for their performances. Uh, I just try to shoot them well. Beauty, beauty, beauty. The huge cast reads like a who's who of Hollywood, from established stars like Patrick Duffy and Cloris Leachman, man, man down, to rising stars including Sarah Jones, Jordan Bridges, Haley Duff, and newcomer Annalise Basso as a child hoping to be adopted. Be the best daughter you could ever hope for. And even former Backstreet Boy Kevin Scott Richardson makes a noticeable cameo. I've seen him turn boom towns into ghost towns in a matter of months. We know what the problem is. Yeah, if you'll excuse me, miss. I'm playing Mayor Evans. He does not have a first name. It's Mayor Evans. I know that because it's written in masking tape on my dressing room door. As the mayor of an 1880s western town, Patrick Duffy is a long way from his Dallas days, but he knows drama when he sees it. It's almost like a nighttime soap type drama. It's very low-key, it's very emotional. It plays on every conceivable emotion that they can for the audience. And that is exactly what attracted Cloris Leachman to an unlikely role as an orphanage caretaker. I turn down things that wouldn't be good for me so that when I do do something, I like to do something quite different from what people have seen. Well, look at my hair, isn't it funny? I thought, what will I do with my hair? It's so short. I didn't want to wear a wig and have a bun. It's so typical. But there was one thing this Oscar winner thought her character was missing. I think we should have a mule at the orphanage. One old ancient mule, don't you? Hallmark Channel On Location visited the historic Hollywood set of Love Takes Wing, where Cloris tried to work her charm while on a mission. Did I get the mule? You probably can't tell the temperature was close to 100 degrees, but the movie star Sarah Jones took it in stride. Other than it being way too hot, I, I'm, it is fun. It's dress up. It's a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. And as far as the set goes, this is incredible. I mean, this is where Deadwood was shot, so that's kind of awesome. And they have the mules out today, and that's exciting. They had a horse yesterday. Hold your horses. Did Sarah just say mules? They have the mules out today. Does Cloris know? She knows. Um, she, she knows. In fact, it didn't take this former Dancing with the Stars cut up long to find herself a new partner. We're trying to keep her off the mules. <laughs> I remember her talking about how she wanted the, the oldest, skinniest, most hump, hunchbacked mule you can find for, for her orphanage. She also found herself some new admirers. Cloris Leachman is fun and a different experience every single day. She comes to set with a lot of energy and uh, she, I think she makes all of us kind of feel younger, you know, she, it's, which is odd because she's older than all of us, but she definitely brings this young, vibrant energy and teaches us bad words. Cloris is, uh, is a riot. I mean, she's uh, completely, um, hmm, how do I articulate this? She's unfiltered, full throttle. 
And also, she's a, she's a legend. Chorus is one of a kind, an individual, an absolute free spirit. And uh, when she sets her heart on something, uh, you know, she, she gets it one way or the other. And she didn't hesitate to show off. That was a little bit like the Rose Parade, I, I think. That was, uh, she was the queen of the Rose Parade there. The onset camaraderie certainly brought this cast closer. And in the end, they hope that chemistry will translate on screen. There's a lot of people in the country right now that are having a hard time. And so I think that they could watch our, our movie and, and see that people come out of it, you know. Um, there's, there's a light on the other side of the tunnel. But before this director says his final cut, we had to know one last thing. Will Cloris get to keep her mule? <laughs> you know, maybe we'll just you know, put a bow on that mule's head and send it home with her and uh, uh, make her very happy until she's tired of it.